Good evening, guys. We are like two blocks away from Times Square in New York City with our 4x4 expedition truck, and we found some free boondocking. Oh, it's not your normal boondocking, but we found a little loophole. So it's Sunday night, and here's the kicker. These signs can be a little bit intimidating if you try reading too much into them. But since it's Sunday night, we essentially have until 7 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning to park here. Um, obviously our steps, we don't have like power retractable steps on this camper. So I rigged up this neat little thing with some paracord so steps can be lifted up and retracted in for the night because I just don't think it's a good idea to leave the uh, steps out. And uh, since we are boondocking here in New York City, let's take in some of the sights and uh, we'll see how the rest of the night goes. Okay, we're uh, leaving the camper parked on the street and heading into Times Square, literally two blocks away. We're bringing Shelby along with us and just like in Salem, we have that little backpack for her. We're ready. This little bag works great. I love this bag. I'm so happy that we brought it with us. Okay, this is block number one. And that's 46th and uh, Little Brazil Street. Now this is the first time Beck and I have done anything remotely close to urban parking so in a city. like. You know, we're out in the wild, we'll do the Walmarts, we'll do casinos, never we'll do urban random jungle. little pullouts on the side of the highway, but never a big city. It's gonna be kind of a new, heck, it already is a great experience, but this is, I don't know, just stepping outside your comfort zone and everybody needs to do that a little more often. I feel like it's yeah, don't you? It's like so massive here. Uh, yeah, we are at intersection number two, which is pretty much Times Square. What a shitty location for a campsite. No, it's terrible. <laughs> Free campsite, no less. Yeah, it's so crazy. We're camped and parked, whatever, two blocks from this. Okay, play along with me for this shot, but I had to give you a full pano. All right, here it goes. The lighting here is amazing. Like there are no shadows, none. There's the full 360, guys. And there's where the ball drops at the uh, turn of the year every year. You know what, honey? There's pizza. This is the place we uh, grabbed a slice last time we were here. Is it really? Yeah, yeah I'm dead serious. Hey, can I get one of those ones with uh, spinach? Yeah, so, yeah, thank you. That's a seriously awesome make your own salad bar there. But I didn't come to New York City to have salad. The sounds of a city. So instead of a slice of pizza, we opted for just to get one of these uh, stromboli things and maybe we'll pick something else up. Uh, along the uh, street. Mm -hmm. Worth it? Mm -hmm. She's seriously like a dog going for a ride and hanging her head out the window here. Ooh, little booty steak, baby. And our next stop is Roxy's for a slice of uh, New York cheesecake. And we've circled back around to Times Square. I'm still totally in awe that we are pulling this off. <laughs> like, so many levels of pulling this off. You know, we drove the truck here. We found a parking spot here. We're able to just go cruise around as we wish. And now all we need to do is uh, have an uneventful night and an uneventful departure out of New York. We did it. 
we're halfway there. Yeah. Well, so far, so good. Huh. We left the bathroom light on. Everything seems to be intact here. It's uh, trash day. So the uh, trash and recycling trucks are making their rounds. All right, guys, that's a wrap for the night. But the video is still going because this is about boondocking for the night in New York City. But we'll see you in the morning, and hopefully it's uneventful. <laughs> we need to find some place with a lot of people. Well, good morning, guys. We made it through the night. No uh, mysterious knocks on the door. Things are really starting to uh, come to life outside. So here's our stairs. We were able to get them in last night, nice and easy. Now, getting them out. Let's see how that goes. This little paracord works really well. Now the task of getting everything out to the truck for the day. How many boondocking spots have you found? with coffee and pastries like 10 feet from your front door. This worked out really well for keeping our uh, steps inside the camper. Well, there was a little reminder uh, from NYPD. Uh, it's, we're running a little behind schedule because we're trying to film, but it's 7.27, but he was cool. He's like, oh, time to move along. So Sunday night, New York City, if you want to like sleep on the streets, I know that kind of may come out wrong, that's the night to do it. Uh, Monday morning hits and we're here. Uh, our day is going to continue, but it's going to continue in another video as we uh, try to escape from New York. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the road.